Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm back with new and exciting features from Microsoft Teams. Come on with me and let's check them out. I got a meeting in progress, and I'm going to show you some of my coworkers. Say hi to everybody. We're showing you one of the really cool and exciting new features, which is the gallery view. Let's you now see up to nine participants. Everybody's happy and smiling, and you can see all of them on camera, all using video. We're seeing all nine of them, and I'm down in the corner at the bottom, as you could see, as the 10th participant in the meeting. It's actually really cool because up until recently, Microsoft's ability to show you participants in Teams in video as part of a meeting has been limited. So growing this gallery view out is actually really nice, bringing everybody in, letting them all participate. Now, another really interesting and cool thing we can do, I'm going to hover over it for just a second, zoom in to show it to you before I let everybody do it, is we now have an option to raise your hand in a meeting right from the toolbar so that way I can see when somebody wants to say something. So I'm gonna ask Carola, she's sitting right in the middle of the screen there, if she can raise her hand, and when she does, we're gonna see two interesting things. You're gonna see that it pops out and gives me a visual that she's raised her hand right there. I can hover and see information about her. It also pops out under show participants right here, gives me a little indicator of a number. Megan, can you raise your hand as well? Megan's right below Carola uh, in our little Brady Bunch visual there, and she's now done it. She's raised her hand. I see the number of participants is two. And if I come back out and bring the participant list up over to the side, I can see whoever has raised their hand as I go over, and I can indicate and interact with them based on that visually. Maybe I can call one of them, they can talk, they can do whatever. So that's really helpful. And you can see when I am able to hover there, I, as the person who's running the meeting, can actually lower their hands once I've addressed their question just by hovering over the little ellipsis, the three buttons where their hand is, or they can lower it themselves when they actually feel that I've addressed their question or whatever they've done that requires my attention. So that's kind of nice. The third thing, that's a new feature that we wanted to focus on as well, and this one is really interesting. Courtney is at the upper left-hand corner of our screen, loves this one. She begged me to put it in the show. We're gonna take a look at how you can pop out chat and have a chat window floating either while you're in the meeting or you can actually look at it while you're doing work and interact with it. And I've already done that, so I'm gonna just show you the chat that's popped out, then I'm gonna show you how I've done that. The ability to bring that chat up, in this case with one of our other coworkers, uh, and show that or maybe just have that floating so I can see it in the meeting is great. I can make that full screen. I can interact with that person and type a message and talk to them while I'm in the meeting. And the way I did that is by going over here to chat. So we're gonna let everybody sit in the meeting for a minute while I switch my view. They're still there. We could see the screen right here indicating the meeting's going on. And I can go to anybody who I wanna pop the chat out for. And when I do that and I hover, I get this little button right here that says pop out chat. That's a visual indicator that I can do that. But I also can go to the buttons right here, the ellipsis. And when I do that right at the top, I get a pop out chat option as well. So I can do this either way. When I do that, the window pops out. I can work with it separately. And then when I'm done, I can go ahead and I can just simply close it if I want to get rid of it. When I'm done, you can see the original chat is right here that I popped out. All of these are brand new features that are available to you depending on where you are in the world using Microsoft Teams. Microsoft rolls features out uh, kind of staggered across the geography. So it's based on timing. It may or may not be available to you based on where you are, but the way you can check to see what version of Teams you're running whether there's any updates available is something important. So let's look at that as we get ready to wrap up. I'm gonna go up here to the upper right-hand corner where my little profile circle is. This would be your name equivalent. I'm gonna click on that. And as I come down here, I'm gonna to go to About, and I can see Version. This will tell me what version of Teams I'm currently running. It pops up a little gray bar at the top of the screen. It also tells you when the last update was and when it was applied, which is important, because depending on the timestamp on that, you come right down here and check for updates. Teams will go out behind the scenes, automatically check for you, and apply updates without you even doing anything. And it does this automatically for you periodically as well. Now I'm gonna go to about, I'm gonna go to version. Before I do that, let me zoom out. And I'm gonna show you that right up here is where it shows up, gives me my team version number, and the last update cycle that updates were applied against it doesn't tell you all the updates and all the features, but it does tell you when they were applied, and it will tell you if there's new updates pending. So based on that, I get new features on a rolling basis, and some of the features we're showing you here in this particular uh, discussion are 
coming to me or coming to my use and to my team, as you can see from that. Now, a couple of the people in our meeting here are using the Apple platform, the Macintosh computer. I'm using a Windows computer. All those updates roll out at different times across different platforms. So if you go to use something and you're not seeing it, it may be because it's not available yet. Be patient and I promise you eventually it will be. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to all of you. Say goodbye to everybody in our meeting. I'm gonna wish you happy teaming until we're back with more features, more updates and more cool ways you can benefit from using Teams. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon. And thanks for watching.